Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. I'm here today to look into these. These are ladies' underwires, and they're made out of metal. So it's just a metal curve, and it gets sewn into a ladies' underwire bra for support. The interesting thing about these underwires is they actually act as antenna systems for wireless energy. And there's no shortage of wireless energy in our society, and that wireless energy is actually increasing every year. And to detect this wireless energy that is on the underwire, we're going to use this AM radio. This AM radio is currently on auto-seek, and it's looking for a radio station. And it's not going to find that radio station because there's no antenna system connected to this AM radio. So our antenna system is going to be this underwire. So I'm now going to connect this in to the antenna system and we can see what actually happens. So we now have an antenna system which is the underwire and we can see it pulled in a radio station. So let's see if there's any other radio stations. So we're going to scan through and we're going to see if we can find anything else. And one of the things that I should mention is as you increase the levels of radio frequencies on the human body it may actually lead to radio wave sickness. And radio wave sickness has a very diverse range of symptoms to it. So we do indeed only have one radio station and we might be able to improve that reception to two or more radio stations by adding the second underwire as there's always two underwires in ladies bras. So let's see adding a second underwire does. Okay, so we now have two underwires in the system and that's the way most ladies are walking around today. So let's start scanning through and see what we find. So we do indeed have a second radio station. So let's see if there's anything else. So ladies need to be careful with the amount of metal that they put on the bodies because the other thing that increases this effect is jewellery. And you want to limit the amount of jewellery you're walking around with. And other things that will add to this effect are things like metal bridges, metal implants, and anywhere there's metal in the human body is going to increase this effect and increase the likelihood of you getting radio wave sickness from all this wireless radiation that's around us. So we can see it's actually tuned into the original station that we had. So we now have two radio stations and as we can see with no underwire we have no radio stations. With one underwire we have one radio station and with two underwires we have two radio stations. So the more metal that's in the system, the more radio stations we get. And that means that the underwires are actually pulling more radio waves out of the environment for the radio to use. And that was the purpose of this demonstration, was to show you that the more metal that you have connected to the human body, then the more radio wave exposure the human body has, and the more likely it is that the person will develop radio wave sickness. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.